not float during a waterfall. Okay, so this is Brian Lewis with MMT Investing, and things just changed. So we're following the crash. I want to take a look at silver. So I mentioned uh, gold in a previous video, how gold will uh, draw down pretty similar to silver. Here, it'll bounce. Uh, gold will draw down and bounce. Um, so gold is up here about even right now. And I'm looking for the next drawdown here um, for gold. But silver, uh, as you can see, follows pretty closely to the S&P. So the S&P drew down, bounced, drew down, and ran up into the bull trap. Um, so we're up in the bull trap now on the S&P. But it's the same bull trap for silver. Uh, silver bounces a little bit higher than the S&P, but not a whole lot higher. Um, so, I mean, for all of these, uh, I'm looking today or tomorrow to start the next waterfall, dramatic leg down. Uh, so let me, uh, let me zoom out a little bit here. No. Okay. So, so my long-term, uh, chart for the, for this credit contraction. So we've got a 31 day drawdown, a 31 day bounce, uh, around here. So I, I think silver. We'll bottom around even where it was. Um, and then we'll get our next bull trap and our next leg down. Um, and then, then after this credit cycle, this is three months, one month, two months, three months. This is a three month credit drawdown. So we're going to get three down legs. Uh, and if you can find the top and short them, that's pretty good. But uh, if you're holding silver through the whole crash, it's going to get dragged down pretty far. I mean, not it's not going to get dragged down as far as like the s p is going to go um but uh silver is just not good overall during a credit drawdown uh, it has big downside and it doesn't have a lot of upside um if you want a uh, a strategy that i've looked at before is is shorting stocks on the down legs and then you can go long gold on the up legs so you get like the max down and the max up and alternate if you can find the if you can find the moves i mean that is a risky strategy for sure but um if you can find the reversals uh that's one way to play it um so i'm not real big on silver uh, at all during this crash and i think silver might have a pretty good rally off the bottom here but then i'm looking for uh, a three month like a three month uh, cycle out here and then and then I'm looking for like a two or three year bear market so I think silver is not going to be particularly amazing for the next three years and I think gold you can play it through the crash and I think gold should shoot off like a rocket at the bottom um, and stocks should rally really hard and gold should hold up and stocks will be in a bear market uh are not down gold should probably go up during the bear market um but anyways that's a look at silver i think silver is entirely uninteresting for uh i think it's dangerous for the next two months and then i think it's uninteresting uh for the next three years something like that other than this one big bounce here uh silver might be interesting that we'll get in another two months here at the bottom of this credit cycle but um I, I think there are probably better options i don't know it might be an okay and it might be an okay move here but that's that's about it for silver um i'm looking at a scott uh the scott the sprott physical silver trust here i think that's one of the safer uh options as far as counterparty risk goes but like the uh the slv the custodian of the slv is jp morgan so uh that is not a super risky custodian they have, I think, over 50% of like the world monetary silver supply. They have a monstrous stockpile of silver, and um, they have a solid balance sheet, and they're first in line for a bailout. So I'm not really scared of SLV at all. Uh, but Sprott Physical, you can get physical delivery, and it probably has, I don't know, it might not have less counterparty than JP Morgan. I think SLV and Sprott are good options for uh, for silver. But as I've mentioned before, the GLD for gold is scary risky. The custodian of GLD is HSBC, 
who is bankrupt, is a bankrupt international bank that the Fed is unable to get money to right now. This is an international banking credit drawdown. This is a this is a banking international banking crisis that we're in right now. And one of the worst international banks is the custodian of the GLD. Um, and they have <laughs> they have the full ability to just steal your money if they go out of business or if the Fed can't bail them out or whatever happens. Um, so that's a look at silver and gold and why silver doesn't float uh, during our waterfall that we're about to get right here over the next two weeks uh, after this bull trap reverses, which should be today or tomorrow. This is not investing advice. Uh, please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm to help me out and happy trading.